let's be clear. I'm not mad at folks for making big money, but I am worried when those who have the big money show very little concern for those who don't. And right now, the people tasked with ensuring that everyone is playing on a level field are in fact overwhelmingly rich. Based on data compiled by OpenSecrets.org in 2011, the total net worth for all members of the U.S. Congress was more than $4 billion. Just about half of the members of the U.S. Congress are millionaires. The 2010 median net worth of, re of a Republican in the House of Representatives was $834,250. Democrats came in at about $650,000. And on Thursday, 217 Republicans in the House, joined by not a single Democrat, voted to cut SNAP, or the Supplemental Nutritional Assistance Program, by $39 billion over the next decade. Now, I don't know about you, but it's concerning to me that the people who are voting to take food off of poor folks' tables are the one percenters of politics. So this is the point that you were making earlier about the interconnection between, or this is part of the point about the interconnection between inequality in our economy and in our politics. Yeah, it's, it's astounding. And um, there were so many disturbing aspects to the SNAP vote. Um, the debate around it, you know, it felt like we're, we're back in welfare reform mm -hmm. language, same playbook. Um, you know, I, the distance between the 1% and everybody else has never been greater, either culturally, economically. You know, we're a segregated society. We don't run in. So many of our Congress members have no idea what it's like to work two jobs or commute for an hour and a half to go check out. Um, you but, know, to be but a cashier at 